This is the ETBU Sportsnet Coaches Show. I'm Kenneth Klein. Today we're joined by head men's soccer coach Chris Crawford. Coach Crawford, uh, you had your first couple of games against Schreiner and TLU. Uh, why don't you recap those for us? Uh, yeah, opening weekend uh, we were on the road. Uh, went down to Schreiner for the first game on Friday afternoon. Uh, it was a, it was a hot day. Uh, it was a great. We knew it was going to be a tough game. Uh, and then, I mean, with the new group of guys, uh, we went out. It was a fought, a hard fought battle. Uh, the guys worked hard on both sides. Uh, give credits to Shriner. They were able to, uh, to net one of their goals uh, and kept the game at 1-0. And so looking back at that game, uh, we know uh, talking to our guys, talking to our guys after the game, talking to our guys at halftime, uh, that we never really settled in and played our style. We never really got comfortable uh, moving the ball around. Uh, we kind of fell flat into playing direct, kind of, kind of let Shriner do what they wanted uh, and didn't play the style that we knew we were capable of, uh, the style that we've been working on. And I think that goes to a lot, uh, a lot that I wear on my shoulders, uh, with a with a new group of, a bunch of group of guys coming together that we just weren't comfortable. The nerves got the better of us. Uh, the, some of our guys played scared. Some of our guys panicked, uh, and we just we weren't we weren't ready and we weren't dialed in as much as we could have been. And so I wear a lot of that first game on me. Uh, and so. Looking back, coming to Sunday, uh, we were able to get back to practice on Saturday, uh, get to f talk about some things that we need to get better at, pinpoint some areas that we could be stronger at. And then come Sunday, uh, I think we played a, probably one of the better games I've seen our guys play. Didn't get the result we wanted. Uh, ended up tying TOU 1-1 in a double overtime game. Uh, but we controlled the game. I mean, we dictated what happened in that game for 90 minutes. Uh, and so, I mean, we ended up scoring three goals. Two of them get called back. Uh, and so one of them an offsides call, uh, which is understandable, and then one of them with a call that I've never seen in my entire playing career or coaching career or anything else. And so, uh, but I mean, it is what it is. It's a game that we love. It's, sometimes the games aren't fair, and, and and that's what we we told the guys. That's what we preach the guys. Uh, but we still love the game, and the game's not always going to be fair. So we just got to be able uh, be able to finish our chances earlier. And so, but the way that we played on Sunday, we were two different teams. Come Sunday, come Friday. And so we're excited about that. We're excited about where we're going. It's good for us to get those out of the way. It's good for us to return back home. It's good for us to get back on the field as quick as possible and for us to continue making those steps forward uh, as we get closer to conference. Now, tonight you're having your first home game, as you said, uh, at Cornish Field. You're taking on Hendricks, I believe. So uh, just give your thoughts on what it feels like for the new guys coming in to play in their first home match and the – opponent at hand yeah I think the big thing is is uh, I mean we're glad to be home uh, it was it was a great road trip it was a great to be away from the school but now we're excited to be back on our campus and we're excited for the guys to get the fa uh, the fans out their families uh, their girlfriends and all that kind of stuff to come out and give us a great cheering support tonight and we'll need it uh, I think us getting on the field is a big thing for us uh, getting that taste uh, of, a, of a loss uh, and then that taste uh, of a tie which is it's almost as bad as a loss uh, we're one of the only few sports that can end in a tie. And so, but uh, getting back on the field, getting that out of us, especially as well as we played, we're looking forward to that. And Hendricks, it's going to be a tough game. We played them last year. Uh, they got a new coach out there. It's been there for the last, I think this might be a second or third year there. Uh, and so we're looking forward to get back on the field, looking forward for us to continue making uh, some more steps forward, uh, hopefully for us to finish some goals tonight. Uh, this, this group of guys are talented. Uh, they're hungry. And so, and the big thing is, is the last two games, we've been reeling that in, to getting it dialed in to where we can attack going forward. And so we're excited about that. Defensively, we've played great the last two games. I mean, we've given up two goals. Uh, and then there were just, one of them was a set piece. Uh, and then one of them was just to happen to be a great counter we made a mistake on. So defensively, we're excited about where we're going. Now we just got to start scoring. So that's always the fun part of the game. But it's always the hardest. Now, this weekend, of course, you'll be traveling on the road to Shreveport to take on Centenary. So your thoughts on playing now uh I, th I think that's been a rivalry for years uh since i since i came here uh we played them last spring uh, i know the coach out there great friends we've known him uh he's been there this is his second year to also uh and so we played them in the spring we had a great uh, spring showing we did a little fun uh spring game in centenary uh out in shreveport at first baptist church last year and we did we both teams did a clinic together uh because we know it's it's uh it's okay to have rivalries but we also know that we both have a common purpose and we want to promote our sport, uh, promote what we play for. And so we wanted to make sure that both programs know that it's going to be, it's fine to be competitors on the field when it's game time, but it's also, it's fine to re, uh, have the mutual respect for the game and for who we serve. And so this weekend, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll drive down to Centenary. Centenary is a tough place to play at. 
Uh, they got some crazy fans out there. Uh, they'll have some loud fans at the same time. And so it'll be an intense game. Uh, it's a game that we've got marked on our calendar that we're looking forward to. But our big focus right now is getting ready, taking care of business tonight at Hendricks. And so we're looking forward to that. All right, Coach. Thanks for talking to us on ETB Sportsnet.